Is it juicy? Absolutely juicy. Hello, madame. Mm -hmm. How does your watermelon taste like? Tastes like watermelon? Um, uh, how do you, DD? Uh, D man. D or you can say, also you can say Arroy. That's what I was trying to say. Arroy. Arroy. Oh, awesome. What? back to other I guess Samarica Samarica Demon Alright Cafe Didi Soy Cow What other words? How do you say coconut again? Mapao. Mapao. Those are the words that we've uh, we've uh, learned in uh, while Ron. we were here. What? Ron, hot. Ron is hot. Aroy means taste good. Aroy means taste good. So these are coconut. Fresh coconut. Frappes. 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 Let's try the frappes. I can't do this with one hand. So you're going to have to tell me how delicious it is. From a scale of one to five. It's like condemn. No, get out. I'm serious. <laughs> so what would you rate it? A ten out of ten. Oh, nice. It's really good. So we got a little bit jealous of our coconut fresh milk mm -hmm. frappe that we had to add some pearls in it. Black, no, black pearls. Some black pearls, which it was delicious. We said 10 out of 10 before, and now I mean. That's like a little bit of gelatin, but like very chewy at the same time. Like, delicious. Oh, That's a lot. Uh, I, I think we gotta go. Yep. Oh. 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 Oh, there's like more markets. I feel like there might be a toilet or in there. Oh, the snake. The what is it called? Yep. We tried this at the farm. Yeah, I didn't like that. I, I, I mean, I'm glad I tried it, but I don't need, I'm okay not having another one. What is this? So this is what we were saying. This is the snake fruit. It's sour, but delicious. And then which one's your favorite mango? I really like the sour apples. These are really good, the chase. Mango steen is really good. Mm. Um, these longans, I believe they're called longans. These are kind of crispy and juicy. They're good, but 
I like something a Let's little juicier. A, and I mean, the mangoes are to die for, of course. And I mean, these avocados. Look at these avocados. They're huge. What? On this, we don't know what it is. No clue. But we've tried majority of everything. The pineapples we tried, but I wanted to try the mini ones. Um, papaya we've had. We did try this. We did try this. This was good. It's crunchy, a little juicy on the inside. All these peppers. We are entering Fabio's territory here. We did have those little eggplants. So most people don't have refrigeration, which is why they dehydrate, but also why you go to the market every day so that you can buy fresh, cook for that day, and then come back to the market the next day. Oh, this is frog. So I know for us, seeing meat left out is scary. And I totally get that because I was raised the same. But I completely understand now if you're eating it that day and it's fresh, then, you know, that's why we're not getting sick. And we just got outside of the market and guess what? There is more markets. Surprise, surprise. <coughs> but I was just telling Fabio about how if Thailand got richer, which, I mean, of course you want the best, right? But if they all got refrigeration, what would happen to these local markets supporting each other? I mean, this is their way of money, and this is really their culture. And this is the best part about it, to be honest. And that, and the fact that everybody's super friendly and always smiling and willing to lend a helping hand. Just imagine getting all of these fresh herbs today for dinner tonight. And imagine this being your job. How cool is that? Look at this. This cat is literally surrounded by all the seafood and all this fish. And it could care less. It could care less. <laughs> How funny is that? He's like, I'm hot and I'm thirsty and I got to take the fleas off my body. <laughs> Baby.
He doesn't know what is in it. We don't understand what they're saying. So he's going to try it out. Cop? Cow! Oh. Cop and car. Take a bite, eh? What is it? Just take the rice with the... Uh, that in the bag. So she said it was 40 for the... <laughs> How much is this? She didn't give, you, give her a hundred. I don't have a hundred. Oh, that's good. You need one more. Uh, uh, it's uh, pricey, huh? Yeah.
เขาเอาสองสามไม้โอเคได้เลยนะชิสแกเชิสแก Four inside. 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 Gonna rain. It's none, none. Run. Fun. Rain. Well, we are loaded. We have grilled fish, sausage, grilled chicken, rice. Sticky rice, uh, corn, um, these peanut desserts, uh, plantain, <laughs> jackfruit. Yeah, we got a lot of eating to do. A lot of food. Bands of wetlands that is habitat for thousands of species of fish and wildlife. One of those species is the white shrimp. White shrimp season in Louisiana typically starts in like August and runs oh, through God. December. Commercial fishing this is for white so shrimp delicious has always been juicy. a way of life in St. Bernard, and I'm heading out with Kimmy Serenade, who understands oh, this geez, better baby. than anybody. <laughs> Uh, and then I dip it in the juice thing here on the sticky rice. We had a cold front coming in the bag, and we are going shrimping. This is a great tradition down here in St. Bernard. You can just bring it like this and then bite it. I was really excited to have sticky rice in a bag. We're going night rigging. Shrimping at night. Chicken is great. Some people like to go on a date. I think I'm going to take it off. What is the shrimp tradition mean for you and your family from St. Bernard? Well, yeah. shrimp is, for me and my family is everything, you know, it's just what we always done, you know, generation. We have stick, uh, sixth generation was it stick, what, what was that? Sticky rice with like a my kids love my sticky kids. rice with sweet potato inside. That's you know, sweet potato. They taught me just about everything I know, and, and my grandpa, so, so, you know, make a lot of money, but 